Hi everybody, and it's so great to be with you live this morning and at our new time of 11 o'clock. My apologies for those of you who've been waiting and waiting since 10. Here we are at 11 and ready to go. And I know we're going to have a fantastic time today because here in Wales, the elements are all around us. And so we thought it would be fabulous to share with you some thoughts about the five elements five mighty powers available to our consciousness and if we've got them strong our life is likely to go really well and if they're not quite so strong maybe there's some aspects of life that we'd like to expand upon so are you ready for a great discovery i like to think of the five elements as shapes of consciousness that our consciousness can adopt so, the five elements, what are they? Earth, water, fire, come on, you can do it, air, and space, a catch. And so what are these five shapes of consciousness? Earth, grounded. I'm just sitting here with the thought of being grounded. <laughs> That's all you want to do sometimes. <laughs> Give me a break. Grounded, nourished, nourishing secure and still. That's the state of earth consciousness. And with it, you can endure any storm, you can survive any difficulty, and you will be a great rock and a pillar for others to build their lives on. It's really important. When you've had a trauma, when you've had a difficult time, it's quite likely for your earth element to be scattered, sometimes even shattered. And in those moments, it's not so hard to regain it using the power of yoga. I use things like the sitting forward bend or the mountain posture or the warrior one as a way of breathing my awareness from earth up to body. It's a fantastic um, skill to learn. If you've got earth consciousness, you can take your awareness down into the earth, feel the stillness which is there and then draw it up into your, your consciousness so that you can move powerfully through the day. So uh, earth consciousness. For me as a Taurian, it's pretty natural. For some of my more um, uh, air-based friends, it's not so natural and we make a great compliment. But how about if you in your life could make a compliment of all of these things within you? What a marvelous strength you'd have to be with the people around you. Okay, so earth, grounding. What about water? Flow, the effortless ability to travel with the stream of consciousness, to listen to your intuition within and to quickly adopt the new things that it's always troubling you. <laughs> Have you noticed that if you're listening to the flow of life, it often um, well lives up to the old idea that if you want to make God laugh, show him your plans. <laughs> flow, water element, enables you to adopt a shape of consciousness that you can react to the, to the things that need reacting to and plow through the things that don't so that you're able to be a surfer on the wave of life. And when you really get it right, when your flow is in harmony with the nature of the universe, oh, then um, in business these days they talk about the state of flow. In athletics, they talk about the state of flow. When you're in the golden stream that yoga teachers often experience, where you just say the right thing in the right way at the right time, that's water element being in fantastic state within your consciousness. It's a very exciting process. If mine is out of date, out of, date, out of um, state, then I use the earth sequence to bring it back in. I use the triangle posture to rebalance my um, second chakra, which is the home of the water element. Um, or I go out into nature and I sit by a river. So what's next? Fire, um, aligned with the third center in our body and the shape within our consciousness that gives us the power to get things done. And if you're an Ayurvedic superstar, you will know that this is the origin of the state of mind of when we can get things uh, achieved, 
go for a goal, make a difference in the world. And if it's in balance, we'll do that in a way that draws everyone with us. If it's out of balance, then we might find our friends leaving the room when we come in. <laughs> Aggression, uh, irritation, frustration, that's fire element in excess. Life force with nowhere to go. Fire element should be giving us the state of consciousness in which we can be empowered to make a change while being open to the great mysteries of air, akash and the infinite spirit. So when it's out of balance, when it's too much or too little, you can't do that very easily. So it's a magnificent state to have within you, but it's one that's important to keep going in the right direction. When it's out of balance, I use, if it's too low, warrior two, or even warrior three, to shoot it up towards my crown when you're in the horizontal position. Um, I go and spend time with the sun. Um, I make sure I eat the right foods. And foods are really important for keeping your elements balanced. And for those of you who love Ayurveda, um, if you haven't already joined the three-day Ayurveda evolution, which starts tonight, you must go there. Prana, Tejas, Ojas, air, fire, water and earth. You can discover the power of life by, um, well, sharing a bit of time with your Ayurveda friends. So, after fire we have air. And yeah, air is the breeze. It's the ability to float through life. It's the ability to tune in to the new ideas that are important in life. It's so important. And more powerful than that, air is the natural quality of the heart. The lungs surround our heart filling ourselves with air. When you've got air correct, you know about love. You know what it is to embrace the people around you with the soft, soothing qualities of care and compassion. You also know when it's time to blow a big breeze and make a difference, fired by the power of the elements beneath it. But you will do so in a way that brings care and wonder to the people around you. When it's out of balance, you've got so many ideas perhaps that you're doing this and this and this and this and then your poor mind can't keep in touch with it and you just feel completely all over the place and then you need some grounding and maybe some water to help you get there. And finally, fire. Oh, sorry, fire. The fire of spirit which we find in every cell of the space around us if we tune into a cash, ether. Such a magnificent place to be. For those of you who know how to hold a space with love for the people around you, you know about ether. Build its strength through the power of your meditation, tratak, and simply caring about everything. I hope that gives you a great discovery. Um, discover the elements, look them up in the online studio, be with them during the day, and have a fabulous day. All the best to you.